Hey, this is David Rich again from HouseFairings.com. Today we're going to talk about when to buy a dishwasher and how to choose the dishwasher that best suits your needs. If you find yourself in a position where a new appliance purchase is imminent, or if you just want to get prepared for that day when it happens, uh, we're going to talk to you about all the things you want to think about before it's time so that you're well prepared to make a good selection. My daughter is in the process of building a new house and as such she had to do a lot of research on appliances and so I thought I'd pass that information on to you. We'll see if we can whittle that down and give you some good information to help you make a really good choice. All right, first things first, when to buy an appliance. There are better times of the year than others in which to purchase an appliance. President's Day in February is a good time. Uh, Memorial Day is another time for big sales. Uh, Labor Day, the first Monday in September is another one. And then Columbus Day, October 12th or thereabouts. And then finally, last but not least, Black Friday, which now has turned into the whole month of November. Uh, any of those times are, are classic times when appliances go on deep discounts. And if you're ready to buy, that's the time to snatch one up. If you're really looking to get a good deal, uh, something to consider is buying all your appliances together uh, in a package. Uh, buying a dishwasher, a fridge, a stove, uh, usually if you buy three, sometimes two, sometimes three or four items together, you get an even deeper discount. And that's something to watch out for. Uh, also, there at certain times, certain sales, they'll give installation rebates. So whatever it costs the store that you buy it from to install it, you'll just get that money rebated back to you. So those are things to look for as you, as you prepare to make a purchase. Here are some considerations you want to, to think about as you uh, decide what what type of appliance to buy. When you're looking at dishwashers, there's a number of considerations to ponder. The first being fit. You want to make sure that your space that you have for the dishwasher matches the dishwasher you buy. Depending on when your kitchen was built and what your opening is, you might end up with some variations there. So it's good to know this opening space from cabinet side to cabinet side and from floor to counter height. And in doing so, you will have a, a pretty good idea of what appliance will fit or won't fit in there. They're fairly standard, but it's just something to double check. The last thing you want to do is order an appliance, get it here, and find out, ah, it doesn't fit in, in my space. Second is, which company do I want to choose from? There's a host of them, uh, probably a dozen or more, but there are just a couple that got into the dishwasher business to start. And KitchenAid and Bosch uh, started as dishwasher companies, so because they started out in the dishwashing business, they have uh, a pretty good foothold in that. Uh, both Kitch KitchenAid and Bosch uh, make pretty good dishwashers, and that's a good place to start. But it's not just about the maker. It's about uh, sound quality. Dishwashers are ranked in decibels, and so this is another consideration you want to examine. How loud how, or how quiet is the dishwasher? This particular dishwasher in our house is a Whirlpool, and uh, I, I looked it up and it's 55 decibels. As a comparison, um, we can, this dishwasher is about 20 feet from our TV and about 30 feet from our couch. And when it's running, we can watch TV. It's not annoying enough. It's, you can hear it running, but it's not loud enough to disturb your TV watching. The best thing for you to do is to look, at, look up the model of dishwasher you have and see how loud it is. And if, it's, if that number of decibels is annoying to you, you know you want to go lower. As in the scale, I've seen them go from 44 to 60 in stores, and there's probably even a wider range than that. Um, you could get below 44, but 44 is whisper quiet to the point where you wouldn't even know if it was on. 60 is probably getting close to the annoying place where it's just a little too loud, unless you're, you're going to wash dishes when you're not home, and if that's not a, a concern, then you'll be able to get a better price on your dishwasher simply because they've not insulated it as well. So that's something to, to figure out. If you're looking for something that's just going to be quiet, uh, but not whisper quiet, you want to probably stay in the upper 40s to around 50 would be a safe bet. If you're wanting to make sure, you can talk to friends and find out who has a quiet dishwasher and then look up that model, uh, the maker and model number. They have serial numbers on the side of the dishwasher. And you can look that up and, and see as reference points how many decibels that particular dishwasher was rated for. And that will give you a good idea. It's probably worth the effort to know that number or know a number that you'd be comfortable with. 
It's important to remember that the decibel rating is not something to obsess over. Uh, you're, when you get into the, the mid 40s, it's a very quiet dishwasher and uh, even up to 50. So uh, don't focus too much on that. Just be aware if that's a concern. Another thing to consider when it comes to sound is the cost of the dishwasher as it relates to sound. The lower the decibel rating, the more work they put into making it quiet and you pay for that. And you can pay upwards of $1,000 uh, for a very quiet dishwasher. And that's why it's important to know where, where your break point is, where, where you would find it annoying or where you would find it tolerable. Because that, that will play a, a large factor into how much, you, how much you're gonna pay for your dishwasher. The next consideration is features. What, what does your dishwasher come with? First and foremost, you're gonna open different dishwashers at the store and you'll find out that some have uh, stainless steel tubs inside and some do not. And again, this is a price point issue, how it looks on the inside and uh, what materials they use and that all matters in price. A lot of dishwashers now come with third racks, uh, a rack that's in the upper top part where you can put your silverware as opposed to putting it in the basket. Uh, it gives you more room in your dishwasher, which is good. You, you then want to look at how the silverware is placed in that basket. Uh, like the Bosch dishwasher has a rack where all the silverware stands in a vertical position, uh, which is real helpful to get to wash both sides. There are other features. Uh, different manufacturers have different ways of drying the dishes, and that's important. Some will, the door will pop open to let the steam out once the drying cycle is over. Uh, plastic is really hard to get dry in a dishwasher if you've ever seen that before, but there are makers out there that have clever little ways of using materials to try to get that to dry out as fast as possible. And if that's really important, then you pay up for that, but, they, but there are a couple makers out there that, that have some uh, ingenious solutions. Another consideration is getting it fixed. Uh, the sad reality is most dishwashers are gonna have to get fixed at some point in time or replaced. Uh, dishwashers just don't last that long. Uh, and that's why it's important to pick a brand that, that doesn't need a lot of repairs. Uh, probably one of the stronger brands out there is Whirlpool. Whirlpool has a low uh, fix rating. If you look at different websites that uh, count repairs per brand, you'll see that Whirlpool is, is often at the bottom. Uh, but still, at 5% or 6% or so, that means 1 in 20 dishwashers are going to require some kind of repair who does that is a key consideration. Typically, your big box stores don't do repairs. I recently went to the big box store and asked them and said, hey, what happens if this breaks? And they, they should have said they, just, they farmed that out to a third party independent contractor. So you need to know where that's gonna get fixed because odds are you'll have to deal with the repair, especially if you're buying a number of appliances. Uh, depending on what it is, sooner or later it's gonna break and having a good repair place is important. And lastly, just a couple tips. When you buy, especially when you're buying a dishwasher, there's a drain hose that connects to your drain. You want to make sure you have that. When you get a new appliance, just check to see if there are other things you need to purchase with that appliance that aren't supplied by the manufacturer. Thanks a lot for viewing. If you got anything out of this video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you got any questions, shoot us a line. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We've got lots more videos coming. See you next time.